Now, as we've been reporting this morning, Australia's biggest airline, Qantas, is to halt all international flights for at least two months and suspend 20,000 staff. It's one of many airlines around the world expected to ground large numbers of aircraft due to restrictions being imposed as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Let's talk to Owen Corrie of Travel Extra, who's on the line. Um, Owen, this uh, decision from uh, Qantas, I suppose, really brings into very sharp focus what's happening throughout the airline industry. Absolutely, and uh, Australia will be closing all admission to non-citizens uh, or non-residents, as are New Zealand as of today. Different countries taking different approaches. Uh, IATA sent out a very scary um, alert the other night saying we could, of the 700 airlines operating in the world without some sort of state aid, see um, 30 uh, it, the, them reduced to 30 survivors if this runs to any length. Karsten Spohr saying something similar uh, during the night, a man who is vehemently against uh, state aid now looking for state aid from the German government. So in in terms then of uh, what's happening in relation to the number of flights actually in the air, I mean air travel is kind of slowly closing down or maybe even not so slowly closing down, is that the case Owen? It's a bit like Francis Scott Fitzgerald, uh, first slowly and then then very quickly indeed. Um, it's easier to say where it's open than it's closed. We've basically, north of Denmark and east of Italy, um, airspace and airlines uh, closing down. We've two major repatriation operations this week. Um, the Spanish flights are progressing well. There was some sort of fear that the uh, air traffic control in, in Spain would slow down that process by main, largely by Ryanair and Aer Lingus and not as glamorous as Lanzarote but Poland obviously 120,000 Polish people living in Ireland uh, they closed down very suddenly at the weekend but we are in a situation where we're really left with uh, France uh, Portugal uh, Portugal, Spain uh, Germany uh, Belgium Netherlands Britain and Ireland and it looks like Ryanair will have grounded almost everything on Tuesday Mm -hmm. we'll be left with a couple of British and Irish routes and very very little else transatlantic uh, it's it's continuing a pace even though there are restrictions restrictions on uh, non-Americans and it is restricted to 13 airports. Four of the airports serve from Ireland. They're uh, Minneapolis, Orlando, Philadelphia uh, um, and, uh, are, and uh, Hartford and Connecticut are not in that list. But all the other flights are progressing. But it's only a matter of time before they become uh, un- unviable commercially mm-hmm. and airlines will start shutting them down. Oh, well. We really are looking at uh, a close down of the aviation industry and all the implications that has for future connectivity and for the viability of the airlines. We'll stay in touch with you in the days ahead to bring us uh, up to date on all of this. Uh, Thanks very much indeed for that, Owen Corrie.